In the early 1960s, the young Argentinian artist Marcelo Bonavardi began developing a visual language that combined painting and sculpture in a manner that caught the attention of the New York art world. Counting among his supporters the curator Lawrence Alloway and famed gallerist Betty Parsons, Bonavardi's painting constructions featured an architectonic interplay of mass and void and incorporated hand-carved three-dimensional objects. In his later drawings, however, the former student of architecture let his imagination run wild, translating these imaginative forms into impossible follies. Executed in a variety of mark-making techniques, Bonavardi's work on paper transforms his interest in architectural space into haunting visions reminiscent of Giovanni Battista Piranesi's imaginary prisons. Deliberate and methodical line work coexist along scumbled, dark, and urgent marks. These become anxious and emotional accompaniments to the foreboding hooks and ropes that populate his buildings. The application of washes and subtle areas of color cultivate an atmosphere of metaphysical menace worthy of Giorgio di Chirico, who was an important early influence on the artist. Bonavardi's works on paper are an important part of his larger body of work and were featured heavily in his 1980 mid-career retrospective at the Center for Inter-American Relations in New York. While several examples were included in the exhibition Art and Alchemy during the 1986 Venice Biennial.